Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Esports Health Walkthroughs. Today I'm going to walk you guys through a 6 minute series of stretches you guys can do after your long binge of League for the new patch, Overwatch, Destiny 2, uh, Fortnite, Smash, whatever games you guys play. And I want you guys to remember that these stretches function mainly to help with recovery and also reduce stiffness associated with long sessions of gaming or overuse. And while it can be a way that we can prevent the development of strain or injuries, we have to remember that it's only one part of the big picture with injury prevention. So without further ado, let's get to the stretching. Just a reminder, this is a walkthrough video, so we're going to be going through the entire exercise routine with you, the whole six minutes. So here we go. Grab your mouse fingers, your index and middle finger, and pull them downwards with your elbows straight. And you're going to be doing this for 20 seconds. For the keyboard hand, we're going to be stretching the middle three fingers, so your index, your middle, and your ring. And these are the most commonly used across various game titles. But if you use the pinky a lot in the games that you play, go ahead and grab the fourth finger as well. Now we're going to be stretching the mouse fingers, again the index and the middle, in the opposite direction. So with your palm facing up. Back at it again with the keyboard hand. Again, we're gonna be stretching it in the opposite direction or what we call extension for the wrist and hand and fingers. Flex all of your fingers as shown and use your other hand to bend it backwards. You can gently oscillate or rock back and forth at the end of the range to get a better stretch. The lumbical stretch targets smaller muscles in the hand that are responsible for helping the index and middle finger click the mouse. And when we play for extended periods of time, these muscles tend to get stiff, so we need to stretch them out. These next two stretches are for the muscles we use when pressing any keys outside of the standard WASD. So ERT, 1, 2, 3, 4, or C, those guys. And this, in addition to two stretches we performed earlier, can sometimes help to alleviate stiffness within the hand. With this stretch, what you're going to be doing is attempting to split your fingers apart until you feel a stretch just at the web of your fingers or slightly closer to the center of your hand. These next series of stretches are meant to stretch the fingers in isolation and help each tendon slide better in relation to each other. To do this exercise, all you have to do is bend your wrist back with your palm facing up towards the ceiling, grab your finger and slowly pull down towards the ground. You're going to repeat this with each finger and make sure you're feeling just a general stretch, no pain at all. What you're doing is basically providing a little bit of decompression for each of the small joints within the finger. Now we're going to repeat this on the opposite side and remember you can move slowly with each finger and just feel as though you're 
gently pulling each of the joints in the finger apart. Again, it should not feel like any sort of pain, it should only feel like a gentle stretch. For this next stretch, we're going to be isolating two fingers at a time in addition to stretching the thumb. But this time we're going to be stretching in the opposite direction or more towards flexion with your palm facing towards you. And for the very last stretch, we're going to be repeating the same exercise on the opposite side. So remember pulling two fingers at a time and in the 30 seconds you should generally perform 5 repetitions each. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And just remember that this is an exercise routine you can do after you play for maybe a couple hours, one to two hours, a couple competitive games. Just something to undo the stress of playing for long periods of time. I would probably recommend that you guys do this every single time, but if you guys just do it three times a week, I'll be happy. Thank you guys again and look forward to the next episode of Esports Health Walkthroughs.